Today, I'm going to rank some of the most popular online master's degree in computer science options on the market today in the form of a tier list. First, some disclaimers. This isn't a list of all the available programs, but it should include a pretty good sampling of what's out there. Second, the rankings are my opinion, but I try to be as subjective as possible. If you disagree with my rankings, I'd love to hear about in the comments section. First up, we got Stanford. Stanford is a highly ranked CS department coming in at number one. It will have great courses available in the online program, but it's going to be more expensive than others coming in around at $60,000 in total cost. Stanford degree is a big resume builder with a great alumni network to join. The reason why I'm keeping out the S tier is because of its cost and the fact that there are three other top 10 CS departments offering a cheaper option. Getting a Stanford degree can be a game changer though, so it needs to be ranked high. I'm giving this A tier. Next up, we got the OMS CS at Georgia Tech. This comes in number eight ranked CS department. It's got a huge course catalog, multiple specialization tracks. It's ultra popular with almost 4,400 applicants each cohort and thousands of people graduating each year. It's stupid cheap with a total cost of $7,000. It does have a high dropout rate and churn, but the OMS CS is a pioneer of the MOOC style master's degree program. It's an enormous value and has a lot of options for its students. There's a reason why this is the most popular program, placing it firmly in the S tier. Next, let's talk about the Illinois MCS. It comes from a high ranked CS department coming at number five. It's reasonably priced at $22,000. It comes with two tracks, Generalist and Data Science, another huge alumni network, but there are some frustrations with course offerings and courses being pulled due to your interest and professors leaving. But the Illinois MCS comes from the highest rated CS department offering a low cost MOOC style program. And when I was evaluating programs not too long ago, it was the best option, the reason why I enrolled S tier. Next we got Arizona State MCS. It comes from an average CS department ranking number 43 by Newsweek. It has a smaller course catalog compared to the Illinois MCS and the OMS CS. It's not as competitive a program and likely not gonna have the same caliber as peers as the higher rated programs. It does come in, however, at $15,000 in total tuition and it was hard to rank this program. It's a great value, but the department ranking and smaller course catalog puts us in the B tier, but it could be a good option for students having a hard time getting into Illinois or Georgia Tech. Next, let's talk about the Penn Master of Technology. It comes with an Ivy League education and the number 19 CS department, but it doesn't have as much flexibility as other programs. The MCIT is more prescribed for their students with a core track and electives. The course catalog seems to be more foundational focus than exploring advanced topics like the other programs where the foundations are the prerequisites and the course offerings are more like advanced topics like machine learning, distributed systems, and robotics. Penn is the most expensive MOOC-based degree, and I couldn't call this program a true CS degree. It seems to be framed to get non-technical people up to speed more than experienced developers learning advanced topics. On top of the price and the ranking, it puts it in the C tier for me. Okay, next we got Syracuse. Syracuse comes in with a number 68th ranked CS department. The course catalog is very software engineering focused with the courses primarily on design, programming, and modeling. This fits certain prospective students well, but I don't think it fits the majority. $50,000 plus price tag is massive considering there are better offerings from CS schools for less than half the price. It has very small regional appeal with this diploma. I think it's overpriced and not an overly desirable degree. This is why I give it the D tier. Next, let's talk about Rice University. Every single course is laid out for you in this program. There are no electives. There are 10 courses available to you and you need to complete all 10. Rice is surprisingly a great CS program coming at number 20. It is around $50,000 though to do this degree. It has good appeal if you're in the Texas market. The only saving grace of this program though is its ranking. If UT Austin didn't have a better program, this might be a great option for the Texas region. This is why I give it the C tier. Next, let's go over to California and talk about USC. USC has the number 20 ranked CS program. It's very expensive coming in over $60,000 in total tuition. It has limited course offerings for the online students with most focusing on software engineering fundamentals. The GRE is required, which is rare for a lot of the programs on this list. USC has great regional appeal and an alumni network in Southern California. Part of me thinks that I'm probably gonna rank this a little too high, but I do think the Southern California tech appeal is valuable. If you aren't interested in this market, I look at different options, but I give it a B tier. All right, going back to Texas with SMU. SMU is ranked 119th CS program by Newsweek. The program is focused specifically on artificial intelligence and there's no other tracks or electives available. The price tag is at 45,500, which is high for a poorly ranked CS program. Let's move on D tier. All right, now we're in the Northeast with NJIT. This is the 91th ranked CS program by Newsweek. The cost is around 31,500 to complete. There are actually a lot of specialization tracks available, one in bioinformatics, one in networking and security, database and mining, 
Image processing and finally software engineering. This is the most specializations offered I've seen in any online program. It's very regionally focused with the New York City metro area. Normally I'd say move on, but their vast options of specializations are quite appealing. And the cost is competitive with MOOC offerings, C tier. Last, let's talk about the University of Texas. Texas has the 10th rated CS department. It only costs $10,000 to complete. It leverages edX as their content partner and course theory platform. Courses are broken out into four buckets, applications, theory, systems, and electives. It does have a smaller course catalog when compared to the OMSCS and the Illinois MCS, but it has a decent variety. It has a great alumni base and great credential if you're based in the Texas tech scene. Very appealing program and a good competitor when compared to the OMSCS and Illinois MCS. Austin, Texas is a huge tech market and this degree could be a good door opener for students looking to change their careers S tier. As I mentioned earlier, I'd love to hear about your opinions on these rankings in the comments. See you later.